exhilarating feeling in the world to sit behind a racehorse. It's just an incredible feeling. I love the business. I love being around the horses. Alan Charles was once a successful harness racer until a bad spill nearly 20 years ago left him temporarily paralyzed. Now he's a 50-year-old salesman and divorced father of two, and he wants to get back in the saddle again. So twice a week he leaves the rat race behind and drives out to the Meadowlands Racetrack in East Rutherford, New Jersey, and changes in a backstretch stable into his racing silks and goes out to warm up a few horses. The whole thing of competition, working as a team with a horse, and beating other horses and other drivers, um, you know, figuring out how to be the first horse across the finish line. It, to me, it's better than having sex winning a race. It really is. Then he heads over to the pre-race paddock so he can look for some horses with no drivers and sharpen himself by picking up some drives during the weekday morning qualifiers. One time that someone said, hey, can you drive a horse for me? One time out of the last three months. He's definitely motivated. Yeah. You know, there's not too many that would put all the effort into it that he's putting into it. Yeah. You can see he's been rusty from not being in the game for a while, but he seems to be getting a lot better. Yeah. He seems to be comfortable behind the horse. He seems to put him in a position they need to be in. You control everything and communicate with the horse through the lines. So, um, you know, you got to be real gentle because everything pulls on their mouth. And, you, could, you know, some people, I wiggle my fingers and and I have tension, so if I want him to walk a little bit to the right, I'll just do like this, and he'll go to the right, and just very little. All I have to do is just touch just a little bit. One recent weekday at the Meadowlands, the first time trial Mr. Charles managed to get into, he finished dead last, clearly frustrated at the finish line. The horse was just terrible. I think there's, there's something called tying up where their lactic acid builds up, and they don't go as fast as they could, and that's what I think happened with her. She was to be just off. He did much better on his next race, though, driving the horse to a successful qualifying time. Afterward, he attributed his success to simply putting his time in. Showing up. Showing up. You know, having belief in yourself. I know that, you know, I can drive with anybody, so otherwise I wouldn't be out here.